Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. And then this one just came in. Let's talk battle rap salute to them. Uh, Briz Rothstein was on Angry Fans Live and he said, if it's rap, smack send that bag and I will cook, sue, surf, and crucify your whole sh. It won't be nothing, no sue. It won't be no sue, nothing. No, now he's calling for Smack to send it back. Yeah, I hope they do it because I, I just want to see Briz battle again. I'm not even going to hold you. Salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap for everything that they got going on. And make sure that y'all check that live with uh, Angry Fan and Briz Rothstein. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everything that he do. You know what I'm saying? The media is working. That's the one thing. The media is fucking working. Niggas, is, they, they dropping shit. Shit's dropping. Bam, bam, bam. And I hope niggas keep on dropping. You know what I'm saying? Don't get too close. Let the smoke happen. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be following me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi, bro. This situation, if you want to call it. First of all, it's crazy how the Quilly Mill or the Quilly Freestyle has led to so much energy in battle rap. Now, I will say one thing about Sue Surf. Whether good, bad, or indifferent, he will keep people talking. This is being talked about more than Ultimate Madness. Niggas are not even talking about Ultimate Madness. This is being talked about more than Disaster versus Crooked, King Crooked. This is being talked about more than anything. You know why? Because it's provocative. It keeps the people going. People like messy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. Like, we, we serve it and they eat it. You know what I mean? Pause. But, um, I will say this. I've I seen a lot of people online today, whether it be Twitter, whether it be YouTube videos and things like that, surf is going off, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about uh, Kohler from Black Compass. He was going in on him, and then I guess there was a return fire. Because the thing is, like, when you cool with battle rappers, like, I, I got battle rappers that I rock with, and, you know what I'm saying, I don't keep it too close. Like, I don't be in battle rappers' cribs. Battle rappers don't come to my house. Only person that I be having around is SP and shit like that. Because once you get too cool with people, you can never really have a negative opinion because once you say something negative they're gonna flip on you you know what i'm saying like service gonna flip on you know what i'm saying homie saying whoop de boo i helped make you and i'm the reason why i don't feel that way but that's just the way it goes once a nigga feel like they gave you something or they feel like oh i did an interview with you or i, I fucking spoke to you or i took a picture with you niggas feel like they're indebted to you the only time i ever went live with Surf, he requested me to be in his live. That's the only reason why I would never, I don't request, I don't do interviews. I know a lot of times people be like, oh, why you don't do interviews? I don't really do interviews like that because niggas feel like you forever indebted to them if they jump on your camera or if you talk to them. Like I'll talk to Danny Myers, you know what I'm saying? Cause I could, I could rock with Danny Myers cause he's a consummate MC as to where if I say he lost the battle, Y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoke came from me talking about Danny. I could be positive, I could talk about him negatively if he loses a battle, and he never gets too high up or down. And we we will talk right after, like, yo, I had to recap your battle, you got smoke. I had to keep it that way, you know what I'm saying? Other niggas, if you recap their battles or you say they lost, or you say shit about them, they get mad, they get in their feelings, and I don't really got time for it. So it's like, I don't, I try not to get too close. I know niggas will be like, oh, you and Rock, well, we cool, but at the same time, if I feel like he didn't win a battle, I'll say he didn't win a battle. Period. And like, and I let niggas know, like, if I can't critique you the way you need to be, win, lose, draw, and different, then we, you go, you'll do your thing, and I'ma just do my thing, and it's gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'ma do this shit regardless. You know what I mean? I don't need no league. I don't need no motherfucking coach. I don't need none of that shit. It's just me, a camera, and SP. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I prefer to keep it that way. We get offered so much shit, I turn it all down because all these niggas be having ulterior motives. They wanna use you. They want to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Then when the shit ain't good and when you ain't talking good about them, they wildin' on you. So, to Briz Rothstein, man. Salute to Briz Rothstein and everything that he's got going on, you know what I'm saying? I hope to see him back. Uh, I just seen Disaster had tweeted, you need a battle, you know what I'm saying? GTX, maybe we'll see him over there, I don't know. Um, I had spoke to Briz a couple months ago, you know what I'm saying? Like when he was, uh, you know, going back and forth about the MOOC battle and the MOOC battle not happening and him not having a contract and shit like that and we still haven't seen him. But the energy between him and Surf 
has always been a little a little weird because Surf has always said like he always poked shots and talked shit about Briz. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen him, I, I seen a quote. I haven't, I didn't see the actual interview, but I heard that you know when they were saying accusing Surf of stealing that and stealing this. He said that he stole the door that Rock held for Briz or some shit like that. Like ever since the whole fight situation happened, Surf always had little jabs and, and shit to say about. Briz, so Briz went off on a motherfucking tangent today, like, and you could kind of, when you see the way he was saying what he was saying, I knew who he was talking about, you know what I'm saying? He says, you niggas gangster, but smack your first call for everything, bail money, lawyer money, rental money, year later, it's I owe smack and Beasley my life, yeah, cause you for sale, whore, like before, that's Joey's couch, right? Pussy's been bums. I never slept on a rapper couch or floor. I'm outside. I was like, oh, okay. What, is, what could Briz be possibly talking about? You know, the whole little rumor back in the day with Joe Budden's couch. I already knew he was talking about surf. I could decipher. It wasn't too hard to, to, to decipher that. He says, effing, he said, a fucking 17-year-old turned you into a Louis bag. F you mean, I be live later. When he says Louis bag, or Gucci bag, or coach bag, or Hermes bag, it's like you got a zipper. He's saying that Surf was clapped by a 17-year-old. Whenever you see somebody with a zipper, they call him a Louis bag. He says, he turned you into a Louis bag. If you mean, I'll be live later. He says, I never wore a chain to tuck. Because Surf be talking about that, uh, you know, he's saying he never wore a chain to tuck. He's like, uh, when, I, when niggas took my homie jewelry at the time, I was right in his state. Crib, same night. Let's get it back time. You wasn't there. I'll be live later though. Talking about, you know, Rock Chain, you know what I'm saying? That situation. Briz said he was right there, ready for some act right, and you wasn't there. I'll be live later. He says, even if, would you rather have tucked your chain or became a permanent coach bag zipper on you? He says, nigga talking about some SMD and all this extra ish. I'm tired of niggas and some fans. Let's just get to the BS. Basically saying, let's just get to the BS. If we're not going to be cool, if we're going to have beef, if we're going to have issues, let's just have them. You know what I'm saying? And then that's just going to be the end of it. Um, and this is all the blowback from the whole situation with Quilly. You know what I'm saying? Like every, I've seen Briz had retweeted the video, you know what I'm saying, of the bars and things like that. And then there's other MCs who's like, we've never been accused of taking nobody's bars. Like um, Averb is the leader of that movement. I seen Math comment on it saying, you know, nobody was ever accused him of taking bars and things like that. That's why I said from the beginning, regardless of how it all goes down, it's going to be nasty work anyway because Battle Rap is so, so predicated off of being the nicest, off having skills, off having bars, off being that nigga, you know what I'm saying? And then when you have a situation like this where niggas is accusing you of doing the unthinkable, which is one of the unthinkables in battle rap, is taking somebody's balls and using somebody's words and taking somebody's set. You gonna have so many niggas that's gonna ride to, to try to smoke you. Now he's got a lot of people that's defending him. I've been hit up by blue checks on the gram, hitting me up like, yo, this is how this could work, and niggas use these words. Trust me, niggas is really riding. He got people on both sides, but he's gonna talk how he talks if he feels like, like surf. He's gonna talk how he talks in defense, but he, a lot of people are calling him emotional because the first thing he's mentioning is money. I got more money than these niggas. I got my own house. Niggas don't got no car. Niggas don't got no watch. Niggas ain't got all this shit. I hear all of that. I'm glad I got my own house. I'm glad I got my own cars. I have a house, not an apartment. I'm glad I got my own house. My name is on the house. I own my shit. I own my cars. I own my, my everything. Everything you see around a motherfucker, oh well, I own the L2. So they can never tell me what I ain't got, but that don't mean nothing because at the end of the day, that shit ain't got nothing to do with rap. Um, there are other people who may have handled this whole situation differently as far as with the whole, the accusations and people riding on you and that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like when a niggas, when niggas is coming at you, like a lot of the time a nigga will just get angry and that's where he's, that's where he's at right now. He just got frustrated by the, 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 the accusations and niggas is saying this and that. So he flew off the handle and Briz is like, Briz is getting that surf because he feels like surf, and this is just my this is my personal thought process. It is what it is. You don't like it, don't watch it. I feel like Briz is looking at it like he's catching strays because he's talking about niggas tucking their chains, getting their chains took. He's talking about uh, you know, niggas I uh, stole the door that Briz. He hears all of that. Niggas hear that. You know what I'm saying? The thing about surf, like I said, 
positive, negative, or indifferent, this is what you wanted. Like this is the position that you put yourself in when you become one of the bigger names, when you win two, three battles in a row. Like this is the position that you put yourself in. Everything that you do is gonna be looked at under a microscope, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did watch, like I told you, I watched both videos. I seen the video, I seen the actual freestyle. Every single bar that, you know what I'm saying, niggas is accusing them of, the words is there, and then they took another part which is further down in the freestyle and put it near that part too, so it's more lightning, tightening, indictment, frightening, and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I even seen Surf and Clean Paper going back and forth with each other. You know what I'm saying? Surf was getting that clean, talking about, you know, he was on this, on DS time. Like, I don't like the whole SMD, D, suck my D. I don't, I don't, I'll never say, I'm not going to say that to nobody. I'm sorry. That's just, especially a dude. I'm not telling a dude. That, I don't know. That's just me. I don't like that. That's the, I'm from the Bronx. I don't, we don't ride like that. But anyway, so clean, you know, he returned fire saying, you know, we could do whatever you want to do. I'm going to say the same thing to you that I'm going to say here. And he was basically saying, you stole that shit. So, here's the deal. Don't want to see Briz and Surf go anywhere other than it needs to go. But, yes, Briz is actually talking. He's talking kind of heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you just smack as your lawyer, smack as your rant, smack as everything. And a lot of people were saying things like you know when it comes to battle rap and when it comes to who's hot who's not who's trash like i heard sir call people ass like this person's ass they're trash they could never rap with me they're not good enough he's ass i'm getting 50 60. when you have an opinion that's that high and you could talk about other people and their accomplishments or lack thereof when the shoe is on the other foot they're gonna do the same thing my nigga they're gonna do the same thing the best thing he could do about the situation is not speak about it no more because if you're not you saying you never heard it, you say he said he was an R&B nigga, I only listen to R&B, woo de woo I got you, but there's going to be a lot of niggas that's not going to feel that way. And that's why Briz is stepping out there like, nah, I'm going to address it later. I'm going live later, I'm going live later. And I believe he probably did go live, and they probably did address it, but uh, yeah, that's the way it is right now, and niggas is hot. Um, Ultimate Madness is coming up, if anyone cares, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really have not heard anybody speaking about it. Uh, it's going to be Geechee and Rum in a rematch again uh it's just this is the way it is it's the way algorithm works i mean i would be highly surprised if geechee or rum lost before the finals and if they battled again it's like do are we really interested because last time they battled they could split the money they'll probably do the same thing again but i definitely have them minus 1000 to go all the way because uh that's just the way it goes but uh you know briz surf y'all niggas take it easy man gang